My name is Maureen Grower. I'm a professor here at the University of South Florida College of Nursing, and I manage the Biobehavioral Lab. My name is Allison Yee, and I'm an MD-PhD student at the University of Chicago. So for many years, we've studied preterm infants. We've actually had about 18 years of funding from the National Institute of Nursing Research to study mothers and infants. And particularly, we're studying preterm infants in the neonatal intensive care unit. And it came to our attention about six, seven years ago, how important the gut microbiome of these infants might be. And so we launched a study and began to really understand that these infants are in a way kind of threatened by the things that we must do to them in the NICU because they develop um, some dysbiosis in the gut microbiome. And so we really wanted to determine the relationship between the microbiome and growth. And we identified a significant association between the microbiome composition and stability in very early lifetime points and their growth trajectory within the neonatal intensive care unit. So what we found was in the first six weeks of life, those babies that had improvements in their length for HZ scores over their NICU stay, their samples from week to week were less similar to each other than those babies that showed less volatility and less catch-up growth. And one of the observations that we also saw was that the increased volatility was associated with a lower burden of proteobacteria. And so we think that those babies that showed more stability and less volatility and weren't growing as much were dominated by potentially pathogenic, potentially deleterious proteobacteria. So we're really excited about this paper indicating that growth in the microbiome is a really important new angle to explore. This is one of the first studies that we know of to tie the microbiome to growth as, as a health outcome.